Hello, hi, praise God. My name is Dana. How are you? Welcome to the sanctuary altar. Um, happy New Year <laughs> in April. Can you imagine? Well, I have been MIA. I decided to take a break. I haven't been behind the camera since January. I have not been behind the camera, but I'm okay. How are you guys? How are you doing? How is your salvation journey? Mine has been shaken a little. I have been struggling a little, but what matters is that I still believe in God. I still love God. I'm still on my salvation journey. It's just that some parts of me are here and there, but I'll get back. So how are you guys? How are you coping? How are you holding up? How is your journey? You can tell us some of the ways that you can improve your salvation journey when you're not at the strongest point of your Yeah, so where was I? So I was talking about a shaken salvation journey. So I was beating myself up. I was so hard on myself. I was judging myself. I was feeling like I'm not worthy and I happened to talk to a friend, thank God you guys, you need someone to talk to in this life. You need people in your life. You need to make meaningful connections. You need to have people that hold you down. You need to have someone that will speak life into you. Not people that will beat you down. Not people that will drag you down. Not people that will make you worse than you already are. So I was talking to my friend. I got a revelation from the Holy Spirit as we were walking. And I told her, what do you do? when you are weak because lately i've not been feeling worthy and i don't understand why and we started talking talking the holy spirit continued to make revelations to me and i got a strong message that said sometimes certain so as i was saying some things happen to us because we have conceived them in the mind and remember the spiritual realm is made up of different powers the bad and the good so the devil can prey on that thought in your head and decide to bring trial and tribulation in your life well yes the bible says like life is not smooth there will be trials and tribulations but sometimes we create them with our mind and then they come to pass yeah they manifest so you have to be careful how you perceive yourself in your brain because when you talk to yourself it doesn't matter whether you're speaking silently whether you're speaking with your mouth most things that we say because god gave us authority we have the power to create we have the authority to create so you have to be careful how you perceive yourself in the eyes of god in the eyes of people in this world when you're walking this life you have to be really 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 careful of how he was telling me you cannot take someone to the throne you cannot be a leader you cannot be a servant of god and you have doubt because you cannot lead someone to the throne when you don't have faith when you don't believe in yourself because you're also you don't have a sense of direction when you're doubting yourself you don't have a firm foundation you don't have a ground to stand on when you're doubting yourself so he was telling me you have to find yourself worthy you have to be careful of your thoughts you have to be careful of what you're thinking of yourself because sometimes it is not because you're weak in salvation because we tend to think that just because I'm, I'm weak, just because I'm having challenges reading the word, just because I'm not serving like I used to, that is why such and such a thing is happening to me. But remember, you have already judged yourself before even going on your knees to pray about you have already judged yourself you have already cast yourself down you have already put yourself in god's shoes when you think if i do not do this god is going to do this to me in your head you're drawing in bad energy you're drawing in negativity you're inviting the devil to use your thoughts you're inviting the devil to have a door a leverage on you a way to put you down that same exact thing that you've been thinking or something worse will happen and then you'll begin saying maybe it's because I was not praying maybe it's because I was not reading the word maybe it's because I'm weak maybe it's because I'm not like I used to be and then you will blame God instead you are supposed you're supposed to go on your knees and ask for strength ask for the grace to continue because the grace is always there not judge yourself when you judge yourself or you judge others you have when the bible tells us judgment is for the lord 
God means it. God means it. It is not your place to judge yourself. Also, be careful the noise you listen from other people. Sometimes they take control of your mind or they shape you as a person. So you have to be careful. You have to have a strong personality. You have to know salvation is a personal journey at the end of the day. You have mentors who help you see where you're going. But as you're on that journey, try to shape yourself and have a relationship with God, have a means of communicating, like you have to be able to communicate with your God, you know? So that is basically the revelation that I got. I was in that state of mind. I was in that, in that place. But the Holy Spirit was just reassuring me. I don't know who needs to hear this out there because I know I'm So I don't know who needs to hear this out there, but there is someone who is going through this. There's someone who feels like they are being judged. There is someone who feels like they are not worthy. Let me tell you, in the eyes of God, you are worthy. You are worthy. He said you must have faith as little as a mustard seed. Hold on to your faith. Hold on to your love for God. Hold on to your salvation. Hold on to your belief in God. Hold on to your love for God and everything will eventually align. But otherwise, once again, I'm going to tell you, sometimes the reason as to why you're experiencing the challenges that you're going through is because your mind conceived the devil prayed on that and it manifested. So you have to be careful. Control your mind. Control your mind. Always be positive. Think positive. God bless you. Bye.